shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. And we are off here, Lakeway High School, ready to go, varsity contest. And they're going to let the senior from Newburgh score first here, and the injured Lakeway Hornet, he will get his chance to come down. ACL injury, and basket good, and we are knotted up at two apiece here. That is Donovan. That is Brock Denny starting out, and both teams tied up at two apiece. Good sportsmanship for both of them. So allowing the seniors a chance to get points in here. And now we are off in the game, though. Both these teams, different districts, ironically. Newburgh will be here for districts. Lakeway will not due to some Misha moving teams around.
These two teams still could play later in the season. Three-point shot by the Wolves to start the contest. Ball out of bounds. Back to the Wolves off Lakeway. Hornets in the white and red home colors. Green and white for Newburgh. Three again, Wolves off target into the hands of Lakeway. I believe that is number two with that rebound. And that was number two. And I believe that's a basket gauge flush shoot. I believe for the score. So one point game, three point basket. Makes a difference right now for Newburgh, but still plenty of basketball to go. Two minutes gone in this first quarter. Underneath, Newburgh. Second attempt. We have a foul. Take a look at that. I think we'll have some free throws here. And foul. That should send number 14 to the line. First free throw is good for the Wolves. And one free throw coming. Newberg on top, 6-4 to four right now. Three, Newberg off target again. Rebound, Lakeway. Basket good. We are knotted up at six apiece. Hornets on the board. Five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Once again, Newberg in the green. Lakeway white and red. Three, number 20 of the Wolves. Not there. is Swihart. He got the rebound and on the end of their court picked up a layup. Lakeway with the lead, 8-6. to six. So approaching the halfway point of the four, first quarter already. Pretty quick quarter so far. Three-point shot for the Wolves. Again, that's three threes to start this contest. Or two threes. Two threes, a layup, and a free throw. That is how we got where we are. Nine to eight right now in favor of the visitors on the scoreboard, the Newburgh Wolves. Newburgh into traffic. Or Lakeway into Newburgh. Drive. Basket good. Hornets again on top. Fourth lead change in the last couple last couple minutes anyway here. I think the fifth lead change of the game. Make it the sixth lead change of the game. Another three for Newburgh. Two-point lead for the visitors. Extended defense here. Newburgh doing a good job of sitting in a zone down there, keeping Lakeway from easy baskets. And we're going to have a whistle. This is on Newberg, I believe. Or is this on the Hornets? Well, we're going to have a timeout either way. We'll be back and won the Hornets. They called the timeout right after, so wasn't quite sure what happened at the moment. New 
Freiburg hitting three threes in this ball game. Nine of their points from behind the arc. Out of bounds. This is off the Hornets or off of Newberg to the Hornets. Hard to see underneath there where the ball got knocked off of, but Lakeway. That is tipped, still Lakeway ball. Three, Lakeway, no good. Rebound by the Wolves. That is 20, Colton Pound with the rebound. We're going to set in the other way. This is the last broadcast of the regular season for this basketball season here. We'll have district action next week. We'll be at Lakeway throughout the week, and then we'll have the girls' championship. Or we'll have from Dixon, three-point shot again. But we'll have boys and girls Dixon during the week. We'll have Lakeway girls on Saturday, 6 p.m. Tipped again, still Lakeway ball. Lakeway underneath, into, into defenders, trying to get the ball back out. Lakeway able to save it, nearly lost it there. Hornets, three-pointer, no good inside of the iron. Ball heading the other direction. This broadcast brought to you today, especially by Zach Shelton and A to Z Extermination. For all your critters, bugs, um, ants, whatever you call them, whatever you deal with, termites, give them a call at 336-4448. They can come out and take care of them if you got seasonal issues. No shot on that. Zach Shelton, candidate for school board here of this part of the county here. A very good person. Please give his consideration here. You can get a hold of him. He is the owner of A to Z Extermination. So, once again, great way to support your community. Thank you for supporting everything here. And I think we're going to have free throws, it looks like. So this is shooting. That is a second foul on Swillhart. And first shot is good for the Wolves. That'll make this a six-point ball game. Thirty-nine seconds. Second shot up. Second shot good. And third free throw coming. I'm assuming that was on a three. And all three of them were good. 18 to 10, eight point lead now. Newburgh Wolves on top. As I mentioned, both these teams in different districts. Lakeway in a very tough district. Hornets come back with a basket of their own. And final few seconds coming up here. See if Newberg can figure something out. They'll go back to the three. Offensive rebound. They're just going to throw it up. Nearly had it. 
And that shot is... should be good. Take a look at that, see if we got it on this camera here. Did not, but that basket was good. And we'll take a look here at the three from earlier by the Wolves. And that is what's keeping them afloat. 20 to 12. We'll be back in one minute. So coming back out, second quarter, it will be the Hornet basketball. Once again, just joining us, this game is sponsored by Zach Shelton, candidate for school board, and A to Z Exterminating. Thank you for allowing this game to be possible here. Senior night here at Lakeway. Last night was the Dixon Boys Senior Night up in Dixon. And that is tipped back to the Wolves. And tipped away, still... Newberg basketball. One thing to remember, these games are educational, and kids do watch parents. So please, if you're at these, you know, behave and be respectful as the athletes and small children can see how you behave. Newberg again looking for that three. This time Lakeway spreading out. Not sure if it's uh, just a matched up man or a one four or one or one box and one or something zone, but Newberg underneath a couple strikes. Third strike is good. They're sitting in that two three zone on defense, though the Wolves are. They're keeping easy shots away from Lakeway. Lakeway, just like that. I mean, great job of covering the Hornets here. Hornets looking. Hornets with the drive. Basket up. Can't get the layup. Found the hole. Just not quite right on the timing. Newberg underneath. Foul. So I believe we are shooting two here. And coming from behind, that is the Hornets, number five. That is Shaw with the foul. He's one of the seniors, six-foot forward senior. First free throw, no good. More shot. That is good. 23 to 12. Three point shot. Hornets off target. A little cold this game. A lot of normally they're a lot stronger on the threes. Quick basket by the Wolves on the other end. Newberg coming off a win last week over Dixon, a big win in Newberg. Three-point shot. We're going to have a whistle on Newberg. So Lakeway will have the ball inbounds underneath. Foul away from the ball. That's on Birdsong, his second senior. Deep three, off target. Newberg again with the basket. Three point shot, no good. Offensive rebound. Number 10 for the three, that is good. Hornets back on the board. Mathis, big bucket from the corner. Yeah. 
Blakeway. Take away. Can't get the basket. Newberg on the way back. Big three. And we have a timeout. We'll take a look back real quick at the three from Lakeway from the corner. And just like that, we'll be back after this break. 28-15. Two back-to-back -back threes. Lakeway first, then Newberg on the breakaway. Sometimes if you're hitting threes, you just keep on going. Right now, that is Newberg's strategy. They started out strong, and they are still trying to get them at least five threes in this ballgame already. And make that another 31 points now. Wolves really coming out with the uh, shooting percentage. 16 point lead. Lakeway inside. Ball loose. It is on the ground. Jump ball. That will head back to the visiting Wolves. And, you know, once again, as I mentioned, it has been a very competitive game here, but... Shooting-wise, Newberg just coming out like lightning. And again, another three. I mean, as I mentioned, you just don't stop if you're doing that. You just keep on trucking. Three and a half minutes in the half, and right now it is all Wolves. The secret is that three-point shot. I mean, this is impressive. Once again, thank you, Zach Shelton, and A to Z Extermination. It is dark on the floor, so I do apologize. The camera is not quite perfect. That is the first miss in three attempts. I don't think that'll stop him from doing that again, though. So under three minutes now in the first half, and Newberg slowing down. Looks like a 2-1-2 zone, maybe? Newberg able to get in transition and score off of that. Good passes. By the Wolves, 36-15 now. It is a 21-point difference. In and out, that is almost a luck of Lakeway right now. I mean, good form, good shot, but just pinballed in and pinballed right back out. Nearly tipped away, but... Was it 23 and 14? Both for the Wolves were there. Pound and Holder Bear, Holder B. Again, drive into the defense. Threw the shot up. It is in. Should join us on Misha TV. Boys District Action, on the other hand, will be broadcast by the Bears Sports Network. Richland High School there. Boys Districts for Newburgh will be there. The girls will be here. But those will be on Misha.tv also, along with all action from Dixon and other local districts. You can find them from across the state. There is a fee to that that 
does go directly to the state, basically, and uh, isn't shared very well, but... That is a story for another day. Lakeway, with that, they're going to pick up a basket before the break. And, of course, we want to thank Security Bank of Pulaski County and Post Cab of St. Robert, Fort Leonard Wood for being season sponsors this year. We'll have baseball coverage this spring and softball along with some Waynesville girls soccer. So we will definitely keep you informed. Subscribe to Alan Hilliard Sports on YouTube for all those live events. And three again, just like that. And we're going to take a look back at a three earlier. And we're going to go into halftime. We'll see in 10 minutes. 41-17, Wolves on top. Going really well for them right now. We'll have to see what adjustments were made coming out of the half. Lakeway, good job underneath. They're going to force a foul, which is what they're going to have to do to start getting some ground. You can see underneath. First free throw, no good. So Gage, flesh shoot at the line, a six foot senior guard. And first point is by Lakeway, so starting to fill in that hole a little bit. A long way to go. Newberg spreading the floor. And one thing, you know, Coach Juan said was that he hopes they continue this in districts. Being the five seed, Lakeway being the six. So competitive district, but a lot of teams that didn't play yet at the time. So it happens. They had a victory over Stoutland and Dixon. I believe we're going to have a offensive foul here. So, nope, we're going to have shooting foul, it looks like. Mixed reaction by both sides of that. That was the first foul on Dylan Pound of the Wolves. A junior. So Lakeway two for four on free throws to start the scoring here. Newberg yet to get on the board. Working on it, though. Once again, thank you A to Z Extermination for sponsoring. And Zach Shelton there. Three by Newberg. Two points by Lakeway. Just like that, points going back on the board. And they can go up quick by both of these teams. Within about two seconds, we had five points on the board combined. That is off target. Into the hands of the Hornets. Wolves, they're going to scoop up the sloppy pass. And second three again in a matter of about 15, 20 seconds here. Or so, again, this talking about just like the first half, not quite as strong. That ball picked away. And we're going to have a foul on that. So we're going to have a shooting foul here. Not sure about a shooting foul, but definitely a foul there. Free throw, no good. Heart. Second free throw good. They are now still 50%. Three for six in the second half. <laughs> New 
Zuberg response of their own. Lakeway, that is blocked. Got away with the travel possibly there. Both teams trading turnovers. And again, a foul. Basket good this time. Taking a look at that. So basket is good. And free throw coming. Off target. Newberg will come away with the ball on the baseline. Holder B will bring it down. Still he'll play point. He'll get the ball. Drive in. Kick it out. Try to get the assist. Not this time. Ball. No one went for that loose ball. Lakeway came away with it finally. Inside and 23-point ball game. Still the differential at halftime. So Lakeway holding their own right now. Lakeway trying to poke and pick at it, knock it loose, but Newberg said, nope, I like threes. Three of their own. And just like that, the Hornets respond with their own three. We can get a lot of points in a hurry here. Still 23 points. That one short. Defense. Right now, defensive rebound. It will stay with Lakeway. And again, pinballed in and out. That's the third time that has happened tonight. So we're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this break. Timeout. Newberg, they talked it over, I'm sure, and said, hey, calm down. We need points. Can't let them keep scoring every time we do. Inside, offensive foul. And not what they're wanting here. Lakeway set up in the defense and able to draw the offensive contact. So halfway through the third quarter, Lakeway holding their own. We are pretty much even right now. And we're going to have an offensive foul also. You cannot hook the arm. That is definitely a foul. Way underneath, a little bit short, offensive rebound, 24 possibly, 34 on that. So bowling with that, tried to get the rebound underneath, we're going to have a whistle. Second foul on the Hornets. That is Flesh Shoot, his third foul of the game. Still 23 points, though, so no change in the difference. It's one thing, if you're Lakeway, you need to score, stop them, and score again, because if you keep trading baskets... That 20 point difference is always going to be there. That is way harder than it sounds. Three point shot contested, but no problem. It is good. So 
Hornets. No one there for the pass. Back to Newberg. This time into the contact, basket made, 28 point lead now. As I mentioned, neither of these teams can score in a hurry. Lakeway, good shot, just off target. Ball heading back the other direction. Turnover, I believe they called traveling on Newberg on that. Three, again in and out. That is number four. That ball is not wanted to drop. That is at least 12 points. And basket on the other side by Lakeway there. Had a little camera glitch. Not sure what was causing it, but... Newberg again. Seems like every possession now these Wolves are finding a way to score. Lakeway though, again a good angle at the shot. Not able to score on that. And they got the steal second time up. We're going to have a foul. So take a look here. Sixty-one thirty-two. Nineteen seconds remaining in the third period here. Three just off target ball back to the wolves. They got chance for hold it for a few seconds, but they got to throw it up. They do. Basket good. And this is exactly why the score is what it is. So 63-32, 31 point lead going into the fourth. We'll be back in one minute with more basketball. First free throw is good. One more. That free throw no good. Still once the clock starts, it'll continue to roll unless the Hornets can get a score here to stop it. Not quite sure what happened there. Somebody in the way, but I believe it's also bonus. So it's one and one. So we're going to fix our clock here. I don't know what happened. It just 
went completely cuckoo. Maybe for Cocoa Puffs. Now we're rolling here. Newberg looking like they're going to walk away with the victory here. Still some basketball to go, but right now 30 points. Like way can't get the basket just off the iron. Newberg underneath basket from coast to coast. Hornets respond with a quick shot of their own. Three. That three is good. That is what you need. That is good awareness on the Hornets' part. As I mentioned, this game not really affecting a whole lot. These two teams not in the same district, but similar seeds in their district. Newburg just in a lot of the teams in the Newburg boys district are very similar in competitiveness. Way 26 points now they've cut this down to. Shipping away, so they still have time if they can hit their shots. Newberg, though, that is at least number seven or eight three-point-wise. Try to tip it in out of bounds. Looked like going for the tip underneath. Couldn't get it. Once again, thank you, Zach Shelton, candidate for Lakeway School Board and A to Z Extermination for making this game possible, along with our big sponsors, Post Cab of St. Robert and Security Bank of Pulaski County, with two convenient locations for all of your banking needs. If you need a ride, give ride to the bank, give Post Cab a call at 336-0111. We're going to have a whistle on that, so that'll send Newberg to the line. You know, you want to play aggressive defense here, though. You want to make sure that you are trying to keep up still. It is not over. That will restart the turbo clock, though. So that is one thing that you got to think about. Turbo clock, once you get over 30, that is a another hurdle, and it is a big hurdle because it really eats away at your time. But just like that, we are big three-pointer by the Hornets. Cable, for some reason, not very happy with me.
Tried for the dunk, couldn't get it. Clock continues to roll. And under four minutes now in the contest here. I mean, Newberg really having a good game here. Lakeway, I mean, they came out. They're shooting very well right now, but first half made a big difference. Good luck to both these teams and districts. We will be planning to cover the sectional round, which may feature some of these teams again. That will be Lebanon High School on mon next Monday. Or next Wednesday. And then next Saturday, be at Central Missouri in Warrensburg. So free throws here. A one and one, no good. Still Lakeway ball. Three point shot, no good. Defensive rebound, Wolves. If you'd like to cover some of the districts, Dixon or Post. District action, sectionals, quarterfinals. Let me know. We can figure something out. Spots still open. Just message me or send me. Dunk not there. Still Lakeway ball, though. Deep three. No good. And that'll sell out of bounds. Clock continuing to run. So subs beginning to come in the game. And big three. Tomorrow night, if you are not doing anything, be sure to head to Waynesville. Waynesville, Camden 10, 5.30 JV and freshman start time. 7.30 varsity. Big matchup rivalry game right there. Bigger schools have one more week of games. I believe they have a couple games next week. Those are conference matchups. And we're going to have a time out. Take a look and see what we got on our camera here. Well, it is. it went in. So we'll be back after this break with the finish of the game. 56. The ball heading the other way. Lakeway, not sure. That is still Lakeway ball. I believe he realized he was under the basket too far. Smart move, knocked it off the walls. Clock continuing to run, though. And that might just about be enough here. 20 seconds left. So Lakeway. And that'll do it. Final score. 79-47. Thank you, A to Z Extermination. Security Bank of Pulaski County. Post cab. And all the other sponsors here. And Zach Shelton especially. We will be back in... We'll see you later. We'll see if we get it in...
interview with the coach here real quick. As we're going to take a quick break here. And back here, we are with the Newberg coach here. And coach, you know, he had a good game there. He came out shooting three strong, and, well, he finished shooting three strong. <laughs> I mean, had a little bit of cooling down period in the third, but once the fourth quarter came, you know, they kind of hit him clutch. Man. Was that kind of the plan to shoot threes, or was that just something that kind of happened? Yeah, we, uh, we started out hot. We, like you said, we finished hot. Our goal was to get the ball inside, get it back out, and uh, – Knocked some shots down, and thankfully tonight we got that done. Um, and I had a pretty good percentage. I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. Okay. And districts coming up, you guys will be due to some districting, whatever, however they're doing it. You guys will be over in Richland. Yes. Which, you know, you guys started the year here and ended the regular season yep. here in this gym. Yep. So, you know, what's – is there some advantages maybe here than Richland or yep. some – Compared to Richland, a smaller gym, I mean, yeah. do you have a preference on that? You know, I, I see advantages to both, both sides. The smaller gym there at Richland, I, I hope that our bench can enlighten us a little bit more and and, and um, help out on, on the defensive end, especially with the chance and doing all their good stuff. But uh, Lakeway, I love the gym. I love it here. Um, the stadium, ask, it's great. I'm a fan of both gyms. I hope we shoot as well in Richland as we do here tonight. And speaking of shooting here, let's see, you know, congratulations tonight and good luck in districts. Hey, thank you, sir. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, yep. See you later. Yep. And with that, we will sign off here. Have a good night once again. Thank you, Zach Shelton, A to Z Extermination. We will see you all later. Shut up.